Hey friends, what's up? Ash here with Gensens. Hope that you're doing well. So a while back, I did a review on this fragrance right here, Latafa Fakar, and this is a clone of Y Eau de Parfum. It's actually a really good clone as well. And one of the best parts about this fragrance is that it costs under $20. So you're getting a really nice interpretation of a very popular and expensive, as far as designer fragrances go, blue fragrance, one of the most popular on the market, or under 20 bucks. So that's all fine and dandy. And actually here recently, I just realized that the Latafa Fakara bottle kind of reminds me of the Versace Eros bottle for women. It looks a little bit like that, kind of. So I was on fragrancebuy.ca here recently and I was placing an order for a haul. They got some expensive fragrances, some really good ones. Actually, uh, one of those I just reviewed for the Extra Gin Sense channel. Even though that review was done before this one, that video will be out before this one. But anyway, as part of that haul, I was looking through the website, trying to find some stuff that interested me. And I saw this also from Latafa, and this is called Chic Chiyuk, final edition. Final in all caps as well. And this fragrance is not on Fragrantica. I'd never heard of it before, but what caught my interest was on fragrancebuy.ca, it said it was, a Y Eau de Parfum twist. And so I was thinking to myself, holy crap, Latafa did it again. They cloned a fragrance they've already cloned. Let's buy it. So let's go ahead and jump into this video. I've talked for a long time. Let's roll the intro. I want to compare this one to Fakar Black and see which one of these Latafa Y Eau de Parfum clones is the best one. So let's check them out. Let's check out price first, and I'm just gonna use kind of a roundabout price because if you buy on fragrancebuy.ca, and also I'll link these in the description below in case you wanna check them out, the price will fluctuate a little bit because it depends on what the Canadian dollar is to the US dollar at the time. But Fakara Black here is gonna run you, I think around $18 US. And then this bad boy, Chic Chiyuk Final Edition, sorry if I'm butchering your pronunciation there, is gonna be a little bit more expensive to the tune of like, four more dollars. So essentially in terms of price, I think it's a wash. I mean, when you're that cheap, three, four bucks, five bucks is, is not a big difference. This one is unopened. Let's go ahead and crack into it and we'll compare presentations really quickly. So here we got the box. You have uh, the name of the fragrance, the name of the house, size and concentration on the front there. This is a 100 mil Eau de Parfum and Fakara Black is also a 100 mil. Eau de Parfum. So the exact same there. You have a little blown out, washed out picture where it says Latafa. You have the name of the fragrance house on top and you have the certificate of authenticity sticker on one side of the box along with your batch code. On the bottom, you got your ingredients and it slides out like so. And then uh, the top of the box, I guess, just opens up. Yep, there we go. Ta-da. And here we got the bottle and uh, she is not a looker. <laughs> No, kind of ugly. So you got the name of the fragrance and the concentration on the front there. You got this kind of faux black crystal thing on top of the cap. It looks really cheap. On the bottom, you have a sticker and the cap slides into place, but not super snugly. So let's put it to a vote. Fakara Black Box or Chic Shuyuk Final Edition Box. For me, kind of a wash, but I, I guess I'll go for car. And in terms of bottles, we've got the exact same color scheme actually. So that they have right in common. And uh, I'm gonna have to go for car once again. Cost a little bit less and the bottle looks nicer because this looks atrocious. But that doesn't matter. Let's finally spray these on. Let's see how they compare side by side. So I'm gonna put the Fakar on my left hand. There we go. And at the same time, we will put the chic over on my right hand. There we go. Atomizer is pretty much the same here. Let these settle for just a second and then we'll go in. So yeah, Fakar Black is immediately recognizable as Y Eau de Parfum. When you give this a whiff, you get that bit of sweetness. You get that sort of apple, sage, amber woodiness going on. Very appealing, smells quite good, especially when you Consider again, this is under 20 bucks. It smells so much better than you'd expect. Now compare to uh, the final edition over here. Okay guys, uh, yeah, I don't know. It does not smell like I was expecting at all. I am calling it right now. If you want the best clone on the cheap that is similar to Wyoto Parfum, here you go. So uh, final edition over here, 
This has like a much more pronounced, like earthy greenness to it that you're not gonna find in Y. The sweetness is like just not really even there in comparison to Fakar Black or Wyota Parfum. It's got much more of a pronounced like greens that you pulled from the earth and have clumps of like dirt stuck to it. It's not like full on, full bore, hardcore, animalistic, dirty, but it has that, that sort of aromatic green tinge, you know, where sometimes you'll smell something that's quite green that you did just pluck from the earth. Now, to be fair, on the website, on Fragrance Bias website, it says Y EDP twist. So they didn't just say straight up Y Eau de Parfum clone, but I definitely was expecting more Y. So let me try to see if I can think of, if this is a twist, what is it a, uh, like how how is this a twist? Like, what is it? Is it Y Eau de Parfum mixed with something else or is it just its own thing? Or is it even a clone of like a completely different fragrance? Uh, let me try to figure that out. I mean, maybe as it dries, like you can pick up a little bit of that Y flavor in the background, but even as it dries down, it's not really like the prominent part of the fragrance. It's not the focal point. It's not the star of the show. It, it's kind of creeping forward. And maybe as it dries on my skin further, at that point, it, you know, it steps into the forefront and, and does become more prominent. And then at that point you say, oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, a little Y Eau de Parfum action going on here finally. But especially in that opening, it did something else. I'm gonna spray the opening on again uh, because the first time that I smelled it, I was not prepared for that. So let me see if the second time knowing kind of what I'm in for. If I do feel maybe it's a little closer to why. Yeah, a little bit, but let me spray on the Fakar. Sorry, <laughs> we're doing it over again, the openings. Maybe my first couple of sprays were a little funky stanky because this actually smells a bit closer. I don't know. I know that there are some people out there, uh, a good amount of people who will say the first few sprays are gonna be a little off from any bottle. Spraying it on the second time. It does come across a little bit woodier than Fakar. It's less bubble gummy. It is kind of like Y Eau de Parfum. If you remove some of that bubble gum type sweetness off the top, make it slightly more aromatic and actually a little bit richer smelling than Fakar Black. So now I'm kind of getting that that Y Eau de Parfum twist thing here. So it smells essentially like you took Y Eau de Parfum, you dialed down that, that sweetness in the top, you made it less uh, of an emphasis on the fruits. You amp up a little bit the woods, amp up a little bit the aromatic kind of uh, feelings from the scent. Maybe a little extra push of spice, like a light spice, very uh, subtle, but still keep the Y Eau de Parfum DNA in there. That's, that's what this smells like. It's almost like Fakar would be the Y Eau de Parfum clone for you if you're younger, or you like those sweeter fragrances. And then this would be the Y Eau de Parfum clone for you if you were maybe middle-aged and older or don't appreciate uh, fragrances with too much sweetness. I am flabbergasted because I thought that, that this was complete crapola compared to Y Eau de Parfum uh, with that first spray. I mean, it didn't smell very good and the bottle is very cheap and tacky looking. It's not a good look here. But then that, that second blast has got me rethinking everything. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna jump off here. I'm gonna give these another wear and I'm gonna have my wife smell them too and see kind of what she feels. I'm not gonna tell her anything about what I thought at first or the second time spraying this on. I'm just gonna kind of get her reaction, kind of bounce it off her real quick. So I will be right back. Uh, just a second. And I'm back. So I had my wife check it out, both the dry down and the opening. And in the opening, she was actually completely split. She said, you know, any difference between these two as far as how much she likes it is minuscule. So she didn't really pick a winner. She just said it's six half dozen. And then as far as the dry down goes, she actually very slightly preferred this one because she said it's smoother smelling, which, um, yeah, I guess I kind of agree. Uh, I don't know what to say. When I first smelled this one, I thought it was terrible. But then after that that second spray that I did over here and then an additional wearing, it's completely changed my mind. And I don't know if it was just the first time I smelled it for some reason it, it didn't work for me or if something was up <laughs> with those first few sprays and they smelled a little funky. Now for certain, Final Edition is a little bit more aromatic. It's a little bit woodier. It's not as sweet. Like not, not at all sweet, I would say, as this one. When this starts to dry down, you do get a little bit of like, to me, it almost smells like a hint of orange that comes out on like the back end of the fragrance. So you smell it and then 
kind of right as the smell leaves your nose, it's like, oh, is that orange? Oh, a little bit, a little bit. So that's very strange how that comes across. But certainly I would say this is why Eau de Parfum with the twist in the ways that I've harped on a number of times in this video already. That opinion has not changed as I've worn the fragrance a little bit more and as I've had my wife smell it. And overall, it's really just what you're looking for in a Y Eau de Parfum clone. Of the two, certainly, this one still is the one that's the closest to just straight up being Y Eau de Parfum. This one you could think of as a slightly more grown up take on Y Eau de Parfum with surprisingly good quality, considering that this bottle is absolutely hideous. And anyone that looks at this is not going to think that what is inside is good. But once again, quite solid. So at the end of the day, which one of these is the better Y Eau de Parfum clone? Well, unfortunately, I don't think that there's just a, a an easy answer here. I don't think it's just a one size fits all. So I'd say probably younger guys, uh, this one is going to be better. Older guys, this one's probably going to be better. If you want something straight up as close to Y Eau de Parfum on the cheap as you can get, then probably this one. But if you already have Y Eau de Parfum and you want something a bit similar, but with a little change to it, then this one. So I was hoping going into this that it was going to be um, kind of clear cut that it was going to be, okay, this one is absolutely better for these reasons. And instead it's kind of not. <laughs> in the battle of presentation, we have a clear winner, but in battle of smell, it's too close to call. So there we go, two great alternatives to Y Eau de Parfum, both from the same company around the $20 range that do things a little bit differently, but ultimately are kind of trying to do the same thing. They just approach it in a different way. Again, got both of those linked in the description in case you want to check them out. As of right now, those are going to be the two best cheap alternatives to Y Eau de Parfum that I personally have found. As always, thank you guys for hanging with me. Thanks for your support. Stay safe out there and I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys later.